What's up guys? Alright, so today we're playing Slender. And this is a uh, kind of a horror game. And it's uh, made by Parsec Productions, of course. And basically it's a horror game where you gotta go run around and collect eight pages. Just notebook pages with creepy drawings on them. And uh, in the background we're climbing a fence right now to get into this forest, I guess. But, uh, most of our journey is going to be walking along dirt roads, collecting pages. Yes. And of course, in case nobody's ever played this game, you might be asking, well, what's Slender? You know, who is that? And Slender is basically like a folklore legend type of thing. And He's a very tall, you know, man. He's like nine, ten feet tall. And he has very long limbs. And he wears a black suit. He's got a pale white face with no appendages. Kind of like Voldemort with no eyes or a mouth or anything. But, uh, here's the big phallic rock. And there's our first page. Always watches, no eyes. Okay, so hold on here. Off, on, off, on. Clicked. Run for it. So things start to really amp up in creepiness as soon as you collect, in, collect these pages. Like right now, there's boom, boom, like the bass kicking in. And that's the fence. I want to stay away from the fence. In this game, we're basically trying to find the eight pages, like I've said, and you just want to look for key, like things that stick out in the environment, like these big two rocks. They're pretty distinct in a forest like this. So this is the place where we will look for a page. And uh, slowly my heartbeat is just rising and rising. I can feel it pumping in. Oh, come on. Where's this page? I don't want to get caught by Mr. Slendy. Whoa! Shoot! Run, 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 run. Whew. Oh, man. I love this game. So scary. Didn't seem like there was a page in there that time. So, uh,. You just keep moving. What is that? It's a fence. So basically, as soon as you grab these pages, Slender Man comes after you, and he just wants to hunt you down. And I haven't played the game too much, so I'm not the greatest at it. You know, you shouldn't expect me to beat this. Did I walk in a circle? It's the big phallic rock again. But... Yeah, I must have been here before. Um, yeah. But the moment you see him, it's just your heart rate soars. And it's amazing. There's a great feeling of immersion. The developer did a great job because he just... Oh, I am walking in circles. He makes you live in fear like the entire time you're playing this game. And there we go. There's some progress. Um... He really captures like the scary emotion of you being hunted down and it becomes a major survival thing. So these pages can actually be pretty visible from far away. Um, they almost sort of glow in your flashlight like that. That one said leave me alone. Now this building right here is 
There's almost always a page in there, but it's a death trap, you know? You're in a closed room, and basically if Slendy catches you there, you're gone. You're a goner, you know? If there's one doorway you have to get through and he's in that doorway, you're dead. Dead meat, you can't run away. Um, but the game just escalates in difficulty because Slenderman slowly gets faster and faster as you collect pages and the mood changes like the there's a page the um, the music does a great job of developing over time like now there's a subtle in the background and uh, it kinda creeps me out but uh, it's so fun I, I can't stop playing this game right now um, I read up about this game on a forum, or just like a blog post. I believe it was PCGamer.com, I think. They're British, I don't know if it's .com. But, um, I remember seeing it this one day, and I was like, yeah, Slender, I'll try it. And it was amazing the first time. But, I feel like it really took off. I'm not sure where everybody picked up on it as well but I read it on PC Gamer and it was a good week or two before the big Slenderman idea exploded all over YouTube and he's right there near me here's this truck um, when you see Slenderman, your character actually gets a rush of, um, that one said can't run. You actually get a whoosh of adrenaline. You run faster for a moment. And, uh, pretty accurately, you know, portrays the human body. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Started to get really scared now. I I feel goosebumps and oh, there he is. Oh shoot. Um. Oh crap. I'm feeling it now. Goosebumps all the way up my arms. Oh, it's getting scary now. I'm still walking around in circles. This is not good. Not looking good for me. I I don't think I'm making it out of this one. But I got four pages. That's that's good. Um, making progress. I feel like with this game, I can't play it more than an hour a day. And of course, it is 11:30 at night, so it's it's good atmosphere. I just have a light on on my uh, fan. So we're looking for our fifth page. Looking for new places that we haven't been to. That's a fence. Hoping I don't see Mr. Slendy again. Because he's a big meanie. Okay. So in this game there's like... Like I was saying, there's distinct objects that stand out in the environment. And that's where you want to be searching. And there's things like the building, the oil tankers, the big phallic rock thing. Um, there are the actual rocks. Um, let's see. There's a group of uh, like eight trees or something. They're all, you know, stacked like bowling pins. And the tops are sawed off. And th that's one thing to look for. The other is that, that funnel, that uh, concrete tube that you walk through and there's two cars there's a blue oil truck with a tanker I've never seen this before a brick formation wow I've never seen a new uh, area in the game and I don't think it's updated unless there's an automatic updater that I don't know about but there we go, that page says help me. And now there's even more atmospheric sounds playing in the background right now. And uh, 
I'm, I'm feeling it. But you constantly want to be on the move. If you're staying still, you know, he's going to get you no matter what. But he's not always behind you. Like, as you saw a little bit back, he was far, far ahead of me. And that might have been because I was walking in circles, but I have a feeling he teleports places. And right now there's this, this sound going in the background, and it almost feels like he's breathing down my neck. And he is. Oh, my. And that's slender for you. He pretty much gets really, really fast towards the end. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to. It helps me out a lot. And uh, leave some suggestions for uh, what we should play next. And I'm sure you'll see more of Slender in the future. Thank you for watching. Dosu Dude, signing out.